starting to have my doubts that we're gonna get this property done in two weeks. Why did I say two weeks? Welcome to Flip the Script Home Edition. My name is Sammy Yacoub. I am your host as always. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I had made a claim that I was gonna flip a house in two weeks. You're crazy, you're crazy, man. Well, guess what, we are down to the wire. Today is actually staging day, but there's still so much more that we have to wrap up. And I'm thinking to myself, why did I do this to myself? This is absolutely crazy. And even my, my friends and my family are like, so where'd you come up with the idea for two weeks? Why two weeks? And I said, I don't know, actually. It sounded like a fun plan, and now it's just been super chaotic and a little stressful in the process. I think I might have, I definitely lost two weeks of my life, maybe even like a year in the process. But I will say this, the team has been doing such a good job to get this thing buttoned up. So why don't we go inside and see what these boys are up to? Come on. Well, if this looks like a mess to you, that's because it very much is. Um, we are certainly like, like building the airplane while we're still flying it. Roger. Huh? Um, and that is not always great, but um, it's a lot of fun. So why don't we start to see, um, let me, Logan, come here with dad. What? No, I never. I what do you mean? Like to do it. Okay, fine. Hi. She's just part of the film crew now. We still have to build out the uh, little bit of the porch because if you remember, I don't know if I showed it before, there was like an elevator here, um, a lift for a wheelchair, and I sold it. I sold that because I'm trying to make some money because I'm broke. I had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. So we have the boy wonder here, Nate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Nate just learned how to grout this week. How's it going, Nate, so far? It's great. I love it. You know, I love this opportunity, this you job. You love the opportunity? He loves it. We're interviewing him right now. And uh, so, Nate, obviously, I, I'm not able to pay you um, in, in money this week, but I have paid you in uh, ramen noodles in the past. Has that been good for you? It's been great. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just, listen, we're just one big I happy family. He loves interviews. We're one big happy family here. He loves being on camera right now. But look at the, look at the job he's doing with the grout. Girls, just take a peek, okay? He oh, is, no, 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 no. I mean, actually, I, I may be lying. The comments might rip you yeah, apart no, for your I'm, technique. I'm uh, he's totally done for, but you know what? You're, you're gonna have lots of ladies that are going, I like a young stud that knows how to do work okay and tile work let me tell you that's hard to come by all right and so nate you're doing a fantastic job getting in at all the all the nooks and crannies nooks and crannies yep he's uh you're 19 right yeah he's 19. he's like a young like pool boy all right imagine this you have a pool that needs serviced this could be your guy he does well he has experience with hot tubs because for a Not while really. I mean, <laughs> for a while there it's broken because of me it did break because of him. that's not your fault though it's because he wasn't trained properly on how to service a hot tub so we had to call in the pros so but look he so he can't do he's not great with aquatics but he's great with grout okay great with grout all right nate i'll leave you alone now Thank you. all right i mean look at this it's all coming together got the green tile the kitchen everything's good i'm holding my little microphone now instead of wearing it I, here we are on site now at uh, at the at the two week flip the little toy shack and uh, we're up to our our ears with lots of projects here going on we've uh, got a kitchen that's getting staged later today that is not complete whatsoever <laughs> um, and let's just go around and see what else we've been up to here hey this is a little different from last time look we got carpet carpet baby this is a finished space oh ray doesn't want to be on camera okay well i don't know what to say ray look at this uh downstairs though do we still have a shower in the middle of you know uh just an open room absolutely am i gonna fix that sure will it be done on time no does it matter because we're not staging this area 
you're 100% correct. It doesn't matter. And so it's all good. But look at how nice this basement looks. Last time you were here, this looked like a disaster. It looks a lot less like a disaster and a lot more like a basement that you could do your laundry in. And by the way, leaving those appliances there for you, okay? And got a finished living room here now, but don't look, don't look at him. Don't look, you can't see him. Blurry face, that's just some guy that we found on the street and asked him to, to paint things for us. Look at how beautiful these hardwoods have come out. I mean, just astounding, astounding. All of the bedroom fans, I mean, here's the deal. I know I'm stressing out, but as we walk around, I feel like we're getting closer and closer. Things are closer than they've ever been. And although, you know, so far this looks really, really like, it looks like we're done, right? I mean, you would agree, right, honey? I think it looks very close to being done. Look, we've got ceiling fan. We just need a toilet as Logan. I'm holding the microphone now and interviewing <laughs> my beautiful wife. Um, we are lacking a functioning toilet. However, we have a stand-up shower, <laughs> open yeah. shower in the basement. Yeah. So, so we're halfway there. Yeah. I mean, sometimes um, when we don't have a functional toilet um, <laughs> we, and we don't have a porter potty, we have to find strange places to pee. And so you just, you figure that out. Everything around here has looked thus far pretty good, but why don't you show you the, the thing that's haunting me that is making it less likely. Less likely that we are gonna land on time. Come on in here. This is what's stressing me out and making me think that we're not going to land on time. You know why? Because it's all my fault. All my fault. I posted a picture of this room being done before. It was done. It looked good. And I was trying to make sure that I had cleared a pathway so that the tub guy could come in and do his thing so that the painters could do their thing. And I didn't wait long enough for the mortar to dry before went to town and played in here and uh, it's been a total disaster starting to have my doubts that we're going to get this property done in two weeks why did i say two weeks where was that inspiration from i don't know i don't remember i can't remember it's been a nightmare of a process you can see look at this floor it's not even ready it's not even, it's not even done. You might be going, why does it look like some of it's done, but the rest of it's not done? Well, let me tell you, at one point this was finished, but I learned a valuable lesson. So there's a thing that's called a floor leveling system. You put them spacers in between each tile and it makes sure that all the tile is laid perfectly level with each other. What I did wrong in this process was that I didn't wait for the mortar to completely dry and I started kicking all of the self leveler tabs um, off and all of these tiles popped up. So then I had to pull them up and re-scrape the floor and this is a complete freaking nightmare. And guess what? The house is getting staged today regardless of where I'm at in the process. So. Here we go, another Sam Yacoub adventure that we're on. Am I gonna get this done so the girls can get this all staged? Well, I don't know. Doesn't look likely, but we'll see. Am I actually gonna get this house done in two weeks? Why don't you comment below and let me know what you think? Because right now I think that it doesn't, although it doesn't look like it, you also don't know Sammy the Kid, okay? And Sammy the Kid, is one crazy Arab, all right? And in, but in a positive way, not in a negative way. Um, disclaimer. Disclaimer, when I say crazy Arab, I mean that I am just very, I'm in crazy enthusiastic, okay? Crazy positive. I'm very motivated to make houses beautiful. And so we'll see, we'll see how it comes together. 
why don't you like, share, and subscribe? Share this with a friend, um, and especially um, if you have an aunt that is maybe in her 70s uh, that might enjoy my charm and wit and some of the designs I do. I did some, um, some studying of the demographics that I reach out to, and there's actually a strong uh, pool for, for ladies in that age bracket. So uh, my friend Nate, uh, yeah, arr, arr. my friend Nate told me last night it's because I'm dangerous, but I'm safe. I'm just all tatted up and I look tough, but I'm just like a thin candy shell, okay? Lots of goodness underneath. So we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.